Welcome to another video from Easy Morph. The topic that I will cover today is sending and receiving emails with attachments. Planning the Easy Morph project is an important step in the development process. My use case is as follows. I receive multiple emails from suppliers on a weekly basis that needs to be consolidated. Once consolidated, the list needs to be sent to my manager. Let's open a template that I've already started. I will use Annotate to show you the steps that I followed in developing this project. We need to set up an email connector, set up some rules in Outlook and set up some parameters. Before you set up the email connector, have a look at the documentation in EasyMorph on email connectors. We're going to start off by clicking Start, Add Connectors. Make sure the Embedded tab is selected so that this connector will be embedded in your project. Select Email and in my case I'm using the email server. Give your server a name. Complete your email address, your password. Click on IMAP. Enter your server address. Your encryption should be changed to TLS. Leave the port at 993. Click on SMTP. Enter your server address and change your encryption to TLS and click OK. Your email connector is configured. Click on Close. Go back to our main menu. The second step is to set up a rule set in your email program. I've set up a rule set in my Outlook to say that all emails with the subject weekly stock list should move into the weekly stock folder as soon as it arrives. I've also saved a copy in the weekly all folder. The reason being is I will clear my weekly stock folder as soon as I import the data but it will still be available in this weekly all folder. You can see here's my weekly stock and I've got three emails in my weekly stock. Next step is to look at parameters. Please familiarize yourself with the setup of parameters. I've set up parameters for my email account, a temporary folder that I will download the email attachments in, a destination folder to save the combined file in, and then the output file name. I document the process that we will follow as well as provide you with coding to use in your PowerShell command to delete files in the temporary folder. So we're going to start off and first of all we're going to fetch our emails. Make sure your connector is selected. We're going to get it from our folder and our folder is inbox.weekly stock. I will not be changing any pre-filters. I would like to get the attachments and save it in a temporary folder. And I'm going to save all the attachments from the messages in the one folder. Once I've fetched and downloaded the attachments, I want to delete the messages. I'm click apply and run. Data was successfully retrieved from the email and the attachment was save here at the path to attachment. Also notice that all items in the weekly stock folder has been deleted. The next step is to import the CSV files. Add an action, import and drag it onto the canvas and we will load from a list of files and we will use the path to attachment and load all columns. Now all files were successfully imported. You can then do your transformation. I will exclude any items that do not have any stock. I will now export the data to Excel. We'll export it to the parameter file name that I've set up. I will override any file that already exists 
and I will apply. If you run the application, the export was successfully completed. After exporting the file, the next step is to send an email with an attachment Change the two to the email address with the parameter that I've set up. Add a subject check and add a message. Click on attach file. Select the file. I'm selecting my parameter and apply. Once completed, click run action. You will then receive an email with an attachment. The last step is to delete all files in the temporary folder. We will use PowerShell for that. Click Add Action. Look for PowerShell. Click on Edit. You can use the PowerShell commands that I've got here. You can just replace the path with a temporary folder and click OK. Before running the command, you will find these three files in the temporary directory and once you've ran the command, you will see all the files being cleared. That concludes the video on sending and receiving emails per attachment.